bells and gents, today I wanted to do a different video. I wanted to share my top five favorite perfumes. I was gonna do a perfume collection video, but we would be sitting here all night and I know y'all ain't got time for that. So I wanted to share my top five favorite perfumes that I have purchased over and over again that I have bought multiple bottles of and I know that they're amazing. I took down notes like a freaking nerd because I didn't want to sit up here and say, oh my God, I really love this perfume. It smells amazing. It smells fruity. It smells spicy. I wanted to actually give you the main accords and give you a description of each scent. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading the information that I took notes on for you guys. So let's jump into my top five favorite perfumes. So my first favorite is Flash by Jimmy Choo and this perfume is my signature like everyday perfume. This perfume accentuates delicate white flower notes with a hint of spices and fruits. So it does have a sophisticated scent to it but I would say this is more of a springtime scent, but I wear it every day, year round, because I love it. If I don't know what perfume to wear for the day, I always throw this one on because I just love it so much. So the main accords of this perfume are white floral, fruity, sweet, soft and spicy, and two bros. My next favorite is Pink Sugar by Aqualina, and this was the first perfume I ever purchased. This is probably like my fifth bottle of this, and I recently purchased a new bottle. I highly recommend that you keep this perfume in the container that it comes with, because once it's out and it's exposed to the sun, it does turn like a yellowish color, and once it turns that color, it's kind of not the same scent, and you definitely want to throw it away, so keep it stored in a cool, dry place, and somewhere where it's dark, where it's not exposed to sunlight. So yeah, I always have a backup of this bad boy because I love it that much. So this perfume smells exactly like cotton candy. It's described as a very sweet fragrance that smells like fruity candy, and it definitely does. The main accords in this perfume are sweet, caramel, vanilla, powdery, fruity, and soft spicy. So this is more of a teenage scent, but I really, really love like sweet smelling scents. So I still rock it, but I always mix this perfume with something else. If any of you love the smell of pink sugar, but you want something a little bit more sophisticated, I highly recommend Prada Candy. I have a one month trial in my scent bird right now, but I absolutely love this perfume. And I'm so glad that I picked this perfume for Scentbird this month because I absolutely love the way that it smells. And I didn't want to purchase the full size, not knowing whether I would like it or not. So you do get a 30 day supply with Scentbird and you pay $14.95 per month. And I love the fact that you can actually pick which scent you're gonna get for that month. So it's not a mystery. You get to pick which one you wanna try and you can kinda of date a perfume before you fully commit to it, which I love. So I really love Pink Sugar, but if you want to try something more sophisticated, try Prada Candy. You can get a one month supply from Scentberg so you can kinda of test it out to see if you like it before you go out and splurge and buy the full bottle. I will have a link down below and also a discount coat for you guys. My next favorite perfume is one of those celebrity perfumes. This one is Lady Gaga Fame. I have purchased three of these to date, which is kind of strange because this perfume hasn't been out for that long, but I love it that much. And this perfume is a lot different from other perfumes. Most perfumes have a high note, a middle note, and a base note. So after a while, you don't smell the high notes, then you go down to the middle notes, then you're left with the base notes. But this perfume mixes all the notes together, so there's not a pyramid scheme and it complements one another. So I thought that was really interesting. I didn't know that until I actually looked it up and wrote down notes for you guys, but I'm like, that's really interesting because this scent is a lot different, especially with the color. You can see that it's dark in the bottle, but once you spray it, it doesn't have any color to it, so you don't have to worry about it staining your clothes. So the main accords in this perfume are floral, honey, sweet, balsamic, and fruity. 
My next favorite scent I actually purchased in a rollerball first, which is very odd. I don't like rollerballs whatsoever. It's something about being able to spray it rather than roll it on. I just prefer the way that it goes on and I feel like it's more fragrant from a spray bottle rather than a roll on. But anyways, I purchased this one in a rollerball first because they didn't have the full size perfume and I really wanted to try this out and I heard really great things about it. If you can't tell from my other perfume choices, I love sweet and fruity scents and this is definitely a sweet scent. It smells like honeysuckle. It smells so good and I finally purchased the full size of this so I'm so excited because I know that this is going to be more strong than my rollerball. So the main accords of this scent are sweet, white floral, fruity, honey, and citrus. And it's described as a floral fruity fragrance for women. So my last favorite perfume is the Ed Hardy Original. And as you can see, I've used it down like there's barely anything left. And of course, you know, I've got a backup because I don't play games. I always have to have backups of my favorite perfumes. Like who wants to run out of their favorite perfume? I feel naked if I'm not wearing perfume. Does anyone out there feel where I'm coming from? Like, do you feel naked without perfume on? Or am I crazy? So this perfume is described as a female fragrant representative of the tattoo art, which I thought was really nice. It does have a really nice fruity floral scent to it that I absolutely love and this lasts on me forever. So the main accords in this perfume are tropical, fruity, sweet, citrus, and floral. So those are my top five favorite perfumes that I've purchased over and over again that I love. If you have a perfume that you love very much that you've purchased many bottles of, definitely leave that in the comment section down below because I want to know, especially if you love like sweet, fruity scents like I do, I definitely am always on the hunt for new ones. And again, if you don't want to make the splurge and buy the full size bottle of any perfume, definitely check out Scentbird because I think it's an amazing concept and I love that you get a 30 day supply for only $14.95 and you can get some high end perfumes on there. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely thumbs it up. If you want to see a top five favorite of any other beauty products, let me know in the comment section down below and I will be sure to catch you all in my next video. Bye.